Oh, I'm just gonna grab the camera real quick here. Mango. Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful morning on the homestead. It's still gray and cloudy, but we've had a beautiful, beautiful sunrise just now, just underneath the clouds. Now the sun is right away behind the clouds again. Today's the day the pigs are going to go to the butcher. We're gonna have some pork. And somebody asked why we don't slaughter them ourselves. And the reason is that we don't really have the proper equipment, the scalding process and everything. And we also want them to be checked for different diseases. It has been so rainy and so muddy here that we couldn't drive here with a trailer. So I poured a bunch of wood chips here. I think that's the best way to take away mud at these spots where you don't use gravel on your permanent roads. Hey piggies. Hey piggies, I'm gonna be opening this up for you guys now, is that okay? I have a lot of respect for these girls, especially the white one, doesn't like when I step into her territory. Let's see here, girls. Okay, now pigs do not like to go uphill, but if they're hungry enough, I hope they will. Let's get some feed. Now, this thing here is the door handle and the lock at the same time. The pigs will push this open from the inside and at like 60 miles an hour or however fast we're going to drive, you don't want that to happen and the pig to jump out. So we're going to tie this up good with a real strap. I've got one of the pigs in there already and it's the pig that's supposed to go to Mango so I'm going to drive it right now to Mango and uh, introduce them to each other. That's going to be real interesting. hear Mungo already in there and he is getting quite excited. I hope that he'll be okay. Let's hope this works. Okay, this doesn't work. Go in there. Good job. Oh, I'm just gonna grab the camera real quick here. Look, there she is. The sow. I'm just gonna have to close up the electric fence again for Mungo. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, she just went under the fence. Mango. Mango. You don't look, you look quite brutal. Mango. If I, I was told that it's always better to introduce the female to the male because the females are more territorial. territorial. But right now, Mango is going nuts. I'm gonna give him some food. Mango, here, look, you'll have some food here now. Uh, right now, he doesn't want food. Right now, he just wants the pig. Well, let me give you some food as well, Peggy. Okay, I don't want their crazy fight to come here. I really don't want their crazy fight. Mango. Okay. So I don't have much experience with pigs, but I hope that he will not turn into a wild beast now that'll just and he'll just try to defend his female they'll have to connect here now they I let him do it right now through the electric fence mango is going nuts he doesn't want food, but he's chewing insanely. I don't know if he's just excited about the lady or what this is. I would like them to get used to each other a little more before I put them together. Okay, so what I've done now is I've separated this, what I had built up some weeks ago. Because Mango, he's going quite crazy and I need them to get used to each other first, more. And Mango has been a bit wild. For my taste he's foaming and stuff but I just checked with his previous owner and it's supposed to be normal just want them to get used to each other a little more need to turn on the fence now because he wants to go through and the chickens are going crazy probably will have no eggs for a few days <laughs> let me turn on the fence for this here okay fence is on I'm glad that I have him like this now that mango can calm down a little bit I'm quite nervous I mean these things are bigger I worked with pigs in my school, but it was artificial insemination for the most part. And I'm just quite unexperienced here. I want to be careful with pigs. They're big. What is amazing with Mongo and why this whole thing worked just now is that he is so responsive to electric fence. Very, very good pig. It is the next morning. Good morning. <laughs> Uh, we loaded the pigs yesterday, we brought them to the butcher, it got a bit late and stressful, so I couldn't film that. But now I want to go into the greenhouse and just see how Mango and the pig are doing, and hopefully I'll be able to put them together into the same, into the same section. So let's go check on them. Okay, let's see what's going on here. morning how are things going here huh how are things going here hey piggy here's your breakfast they have stayed in their sections and I'm going to open this up in a little bit and I've given them water and hope that they will connect with each other. So, Mango and the pig are together and it's going great. They have shared water, they have shared their feed and it's going great. She's not in heat yet but as soon as she will be, they will be breeding 
and after three months, three weeks and three days, I think, we will have little piglets, hopefully. So Mango, are you happy that you have a friend now? I'm happy for you. I am happy for you that you have a friend. Very happy. So guys, that's it for today. A bunch of the footage that I had filmed to, uh, yesterday, uh, my mic didn't work, so I couldn't put it in this video, which was kind of a bummer. But anyway, I'm really glad I merged these two pigs. The other, sh other two are gonna provide a lot of meat for my family and now just gonna keep observing that the cow shelter is free and clear now so we are gonna take out the rest of the compost and then prepare that for the cattle to move in there to walk on their winter deep bedding and housing there so thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed please do so and you will not miss any of our upcoming videos see you bye bye